Okay, so today I will be showing you how we can integrate Stripe and accept payments through Gravity Forms. So the first thing that you need to do is, of course, have Gravity Forms plug in and the Gravity Forms Stripe add-on installed into your WordPress website. So you want once you have that in place, go to Forms and go directly to Settings and click on Stripe. So in here, you have to get the test publishable key and the test secret key. And later on, um, you can do so on the live environment of the Stripe account. So um, just have, have a new tab open for the Stripe dashboard. And once you're in here, um, under the developers tab, click on API keys. And in here, you will see the publishable key and the secret key. So you might just want to copy and paste the token. Same thing with the secret key token. And tick on the test environment for the APIs. So once you have the screen checks in place, it means that the integration is already done and just click on update settings. So now, um, once you have this in place, we're just going to create a new form for us to accept payments through Gravity Forms with Stripe. So create a new form and make sure that you have a product field under the pricing fields here in Gravity Form and just type in you know, whatever product that you type in here, you can choose if it's a ready button or a drop down or a calculation or anything that you can add a product in Gravity Form. Also, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to add the credit card field within that form for us to actually accept a payment right on this form. So once you're done, click update and go directly to settings and then stripe. So it says here, as you can see, you don't have any feeds configured and just click on let's go create one. So in here, um, you might wanna type in the name of the stripe feed that you wanted to, you know, pass on from Gravity Forms to stripe. So let's just name it um, test transaction. And the transaction type, the good thing about this is you can have a one-time payment. You can accept a one-time payment for, especially for products or services that you're going to offer within your website. Or you can also offer a subscription payment for all the users. So right now we're just going to discuss about the products and services. And now you can choose the payment amount if you have a custom field in within the form that calculates the amount of all the products that you have within that form. Let's say you wanted to capture a different amount from the total form, then you can select it here on this drop down. Now this field right here, the Stripe receipt, you can actually ask um, Stripe to send out the receipt right after the payment is done. Now you can set this one up on your Stripe dashboard and we can discuss that about on our next videos, but we'll just focus on integrating the Stripe into your Gravity Forms account. So once you're done with all of the fields that you wanted to pass on from Gravity Forms to Stripe, just click on Update Settings. And there you have it, you're done. Um, if you wanted to test the transaction, you can go ahead and open a new tab and search for Stripe Test Cards.
and you can actually use a dummy card created by Stripe for us to actually test the transaction. So now um, let's give it a try. So let's say I wanted to buy the first choice. And paste in the card number that you have just copied on the test Stripe documentation and select whichever year. Just make sure it's the current or it's beyond the current and type in any security code and the card holder name. Hit submit. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and check on our Stripe account if the tra transaction did went through. So go to payments and here, as you can see, the $1 that I purchased from the website, which is the customer named as Design Source Media, did went through. So if you're going to migrate this from the test environment, since we have here a test environment, just click on the toggle button here that says view test data. Um, toggle the button here to migrate the test data into the live data and just do exactly the same as what we've done earlier. And there you have it. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below and we will be happy to discuss it with you. Thank you.